I had a real big struggle with entry four for myself in dealing with, I really like this achievement that I've received and there's a little piece of paper on my wall. It looked cool. I like to point it out whenever somebody in big wig world would come by, but really, how did that impact student learning? It didn't. I got this, fine, great, congratulations. Pat on the back, boy, now get back to work. Entry four is hard because it seems easy. It's what I do. I've done so much. I, I'm a very go-getter. I like to go to classes. I had a lot of leadership positions and felt very involved. And I thought, oh, I have tons of things to write about. But then that really awful word that I kept hearing the, through the entire process, what is your documentation? What is your evidence? I learned to hate that phrase because I had to look. It really made me stop and look. What was I doing that really affected student achievement and student growth? And that's what National Board always asked. So you took this workshop or you went through these series of trainings as a learner and you feel that they helped your teaching, but how do you know? In entry four, you need to deal with being a leader, being a learner, and being a communicator, collaborator type thing. You might have a lot of leadership positions because you're excited to do that and you want to do that and the principal keeps tapping you on the shoulder and you get to go over and do these great committee work things. And that's great if you can tie it back to student learning. I like learning. I discovered there was a lot of things that I was doing and a lot of classes that I was taking that were really, for lack of a better term, like underwater basket weaving. They were a lot of fun and I enjoyed doing them, but they didn't have any bang. I didn't take them back to my classroom and really implement them. And if I did, I had no evidence that it had affected anybody other than me because I got to go to the class. So when you're looking at your collaboration with families, ask yourself, what do you already do? What are things that you already have in place? And how can you maybe tweak them or adjust them to, to make sure that it is two-way communication? And the question that I always wanted to ask people whenever I gave away my work was, did you see evidence of student learning and an impact on student learning in my classroom? Yeah, I went to this advanced placement conference. Do you see how I impacted student learning with that? If the answer is no, then I either need to find more evidence or that's great for the wall or the circular file. So, so when you say that you're, you have a newsletter and it goes home, it, that's looking at one-way communication. So you really don't know the impact that it's having on families or student learning. Maybe there's, you ask a question at the end that parents have to answer or students, maybe there's a section in the back that students have to go home and poll their family or parents have to ask students what they learned that week. I had colleagues who I said, we're doing this data, this data um, study group. Would you be willing to write me a letter and say, how you've used it in your classroom and how it has benefited you and your students. So then I discovered I was really influencing, I wasn't just influencing my little classroom, but I found that I was really influencing the community as well and that what the life that touches one touches many. This is a great accomplishment. This is a great accomplishment. This is a great accomplishment. Wow, nice job with this one. How's it all tied together? Enter the reflective piece. Because I know as a national board teacher, I'm supposed to be well-rounded. I'm supposed to be a generalist. And here I was very focused. And I was really more narrow-minded instead of general. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm really off skew. But in my reflection, it gave me a chance to explain what I could do, what changes I could make, um, how this, why I had chosen the path I had chosen, and how I could modify it to be even better than what I am now. The entry four itself takes so much of your personal, okay, this is what I do and this is what I think is important. That's like, <laughs> throw it out there, heart's beating, boom, come on, take it. If you don't like it, then you're squashing me and you're saying, oh, these accomplishments don't mean anything. Well, you know what? Yeah, they do, but you got to be able to tie it back together, yeah.